All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today I want to have a quick discussion slash just rant about something that has been bothering me for quite some time. And I know this bothers you guys too, because this comes up all the time on my streams and video comments. And of course, I'm referring to the quest mode slash main story for Dokkan battle and the fact that it seems like Bandai has just straight up either forgotten about it or gave up on it. And either way, regardless of the reason, I think they need to be called out because I just I just don't think it's cool. You know, like, do you guys know how long it's been since the quest mode was updated, since new chapters were added to the main story? A minimum of two years. All right, I think on global it's been actually two years and a couple months and for JP it's been closer to three years and do you know how I know that it's because I started this channel just over two years ago and one of my earliest videos was a news video covering the fact that you know new chapters were being added to the story and it was a huge deal it was super exciting and then since then nothing all right two years worth of content over a thousand videos easily and not once have I really talked about the story mode again because Bandai has literally given us nothing to talk about. They haven't mentioned, you know, any planned releases for new chapters or really just mentioned the story mode at all. And I just don't understand. I just don't get it because Dokkan is one of the most profitable mobile gacha games of all time. It's one of the most successful. I think last year they crossed the $2 billion total, total revenue mark. And right now, it could be closer to like 2.5. I don't really know, right? But they made a crap load of money. They have one of the biggest player bases of any gacha game out there. And they can't, you know, invest a little bit of money into just releasing a few new story chapters. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I've played so many gacha games that are much smaller, that have much smaller player bases, that make a lot less money, that regularly update their story. And Gacha with a player base of, you know, however many millions of people making over $2 billion can't do that. Come on, man. It just doesn't make sense. And I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'm not upset about this necessarily because I want to know what's happening in the story. Like, I wish I could sit here and just be like, yo, they left the story on a cliffhanger. I really want to know what's going on. Like, what's the next part? What's happening? I don't know because I haven't been paying attention to the story and I'm sure you guys are in the same boat, all right? The story in this game, I paid attention a little bit in the beginning and then I realized that it was very poorly written. It was super convoluted. It was super confusing. It just feels like a bunch of different elements from Dragon Ball Z just like all thrown together. The timeline makes no sense to me and at some point I just lost interest and uh, if you guys are you know, one of those people that actually paid attention to everything and can actually like tell me what's happening, more power to you. You know, that's awesome. But I think the majority of the player base really doesn't care about what's happening in the Dokkan story. And all we really care about is the fact that it provides free stones. That's number one. But the second reason, and to honestly to me, the more important reason is that we need a better stage or I want a better stage to farm rank EXP. All right, because 27.3, is good up to a certain point, up to like maybe rank 400 or so. But then after that, even at like three times, four times rank EXP, it still becomes kind of slow. And uh, I mean, at, at the point I'm at, I think I'm at rank 565, you can't really rank up with one stamina bar anymore. So I just feel like we need a better stage. Like 27.3, there's only so many times I can beat up Piccolo and not get insanely bored especially when it's not giving me as much or just enough rank EXP to make it feel like it's worth my time, you know? So that's another reason why. And, uh, you know, chapter 27 is currently where we're at. And from what I've been told, we did leave off on a cliffhanger. So if anybody wants to make the argument that like, yo, they finished the story, you know, it, it's over. The story storyline is done. That's not true, because they did leave off on a cliffhanger. 27-3, where we, where we beat up Piccolo, is not the end of the story. They made that very, very clear. There's supposed to be more story, and they just didn't do anything with it. Um, 
from what I can tell, you know, they're basically loosely following the story for Dragon Ball Z, at least, you know, kind of following the sagas, but like jumping around as well. Uh, Area 1, as you can see, is kind of, you know, the Saiyan saga with the Saiyan pod landing on Earth. And then here we're kind of in the Android saga. And then Frieza's still here for some reason. Uh, and then we got Majin Vegeta here. So, you know, it's kind of following the, the Dragon Ball Z story, but fairly loosely. And one other thing, actually, that's interesting, you'll find on the Dokkan Wiki, which I don't think a lot of people know about, is the fact that all this stuff is currently happening on Earth, right? But there's also these assets for Namek as well as the afterlife, right? So we got these assets in the game, we got these backgrounds in the game, and... Uh, it does seem like they were at some point maybe planning to have additional story on Namek, an additional story in the afterlife, and uh, these assets were just never really used. So what does that mean? Does that mean that they originally were like, yo, we're gonna expand the story eventually to cover these areas too, and then just decided to not do it? Why? If that's the case, why, right? Or are they holding on to these for something else like i just don't get it man i just don't get it this 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 video is not really meant to give you guys a lot of answers it's really more so just meant to call out bandai on their laziness or their cheapness or if they really forgot then remind them that yo there is a story mode to this game all right <laughs> there is a story mode we are waiting especially long-term players if you've been playing for only like a couple months or a year or something like that then maybe it's not as big of a deal to you because you weren't around for that long to like miss the story mode especially if you just finished it like it's it's a tough grind like it's not that hard as far as difficulty but it's just so boring to do the story that like you probably don't want to go back anytime soon but for long-term players like me I've been playing for easily over three years close to four years now and you know I've been here long enough to to know that like it's been too damn long since we got a story stage, some new chapters added. So uh, that's what I'm trying to talk about in this video. I'm hoping that some Bandai spies out there find this and we know they're out there. We know they're out there, right? They're always lurking the videos. They're lurking the, the subreddits on Twitter, um, trying to look at like what people are talking about, you know, the general sentiment of the community. And uh, this is one thing that a lot of people really want all right a lot of people that i've talked to uh whether on stream or on discord off camera on camera we want more story all right we want those stones and some people probably a minority but some people really want to find out what's going on in the story all right what happens what happens after we beat up piccolo we've done it like a million times but we never get to find out what happens next so <laughs> I, I think that's that's basically the idea, man. I just woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? It's been long enough. All right, I've stayed silent for long enough. We need to talk about this. And uh, I just need to get this off my chest. So I appreciate, I appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. I appreciate you guys for sitting here with me, just hearing me rant, get stuff off my chest. It does uh, help a lot to go through this process together. And uh, hopefully, like I said, man, some Bandai spy out there finds this video and goes over to the executives and, you know, tell them, yo, people want story, man. The global players want story. I mean, JP and global players, actually, because it's, it's, neither side has received any story. It's not like JP got new story and global has it. It's not like a global shaft situation or anything like that. Literally, neither side has received new story for well over two years. And it's time. All right, it's time. If they want to expand the story to Namek, to the afterlife, I'm all for it. If they want to even like start going into Dragon Ball Super stuff, you know, go to like the Tournament of Power stuff, that's cool too. You know, whatever they want to do, as long as it's new chapters, as long as new chapters to, you know, farm uh, Incredible Gems, to farm uh, Ranky XP, I'm cool with it. All right, I'm cool with it. And you know what's also would be kind of cool? If they added a new story mode LR, you know, with the with the addition of new chapters. So of course Vegito Blue, you could farm um, those 
what do you call them, Supreme Kai Stones to like buy his medals. So what if they did that for another LR, right? Maybe a free to play Blue Gogeta. I doubt it, I doubt it, but it'd be cool if there was like some new LR just like Vegito Blue where um, you would have to farm some kind of currency from the new story mode stages to get the medals to awaken them. Just some ideas, I just some things I've been thinking about. I've, I've had a long time to think, so I do have more ideas. I'm not gonna cover them all in this video. That might be for a separate video, but uh, that's it guys. That is all I gotta say. Let me know in the comments down below if you share my sentiments, if you understand what I'm saying, or are you cool with no more story? I, either way, I don't know your opinions. Let's start a discussion. Let's uh, try to get Bandai's attention. It's unlikely to be successful, but we can always try. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for bearing with me, for listening to me ramble, and uh, as always, if you liked the video today, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then, de then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And, oh, I totally blanked. What did I say after this? Oh, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.